Hi everyone, Pamela Whitaker here, running for Justice of the Peace in Pulaski County. As I continue down the campaign trail, people ask me why I'm running and how I can help them. When I was 14, I dreamed of flying jets in the Navy. My dad was in the Navy, but in those days, women weren't allowed to fly in the military. So that dream went on the back burner. And when I graduated high school with honors, I thought, well, maybe I'll go to med school. But my dad said he couldn't afford that, and some hairy-legged boy would take care of me. I did meet that hairy-legged boy, and he was a pastor, and I served as a pastor's wife for many years. But I still had that drive within me to go back to school and get a profession. So at one point, I packed up my two kids, and as a single mom, I returned to Oklahoma State University, where I graduated with a computer science degree. It opened up a whole new world of possibilities for me. I wasn't flying jets, but I was working on it. And later when I moved to the IRS data center in Washington, D.C., I got to do all kinds of things. I wrote software and I became a project manager. At one point, I wanted to be a lead engineer and I ran into some very familiar obstacles. There were managers that wouldn't even think of hiring females. And I was told I wasn't technical, but of course I was. But I persisted and I succeeded and I was known as an organization change leader. This happens to many of us, we need to take care of our parents. So I moved back here to Arkansas to be near my brother who's been here for 30 years to help my mom. And at that point, I took stock of my career. I thought, well, there's gotta be a lot of women in these computer science and engineering fields by now. But the fact was the numbers had moved backwards. I was concerned, I wanted to make a difference. So I started a woman-owned firm and we do things like camera security and drone technology. And I started a nonprofit called Cyber Fly Girls, where we work with young women to get them into engineering and flight fields. I guess when you do things like that, people sometimes encourage you to run for office. I hadn't really thought about it. I meditated on it and I prayed about it. And I committed to doing that last year. We have a slogan for our campaign. It's let freedom flow. And that means letting financial freedom flow across the county by helping our local schools with these STEM careers, and by tackling things like abandoned housing. And it means letting transportation freedom flow by encouraging the Southwest Bike Trail and dreaming of a day when we might have a rail system that crosses over 630 and heals this divide within our city. I'm presenting myself as a change leader. So if you're ready to see a change leader in action, then I'm asking for your vote on March the 3rd. But most of all, I'm asking you to remember that there is no peace without justice. Thank you for listening.